Ailing, the unbridled drink of Kentucky. But why is this ordinary yet very different drink Kentucky's favorite? Ale 8 is delicious and cool and refreshing. It's a good regional favorite, so it's a fun thing to have when we're around. I think it's just an acquired taste. I love it. I mean, I'm, I grew up on it. I'd say it's like ginger ale, but with a kick. My name's Fielding Rogers. I'm the president of the ALA One Bottling Company. I think ALA is particularly good, I think, because of the flavoring that we have. We take a very uh, great amount of pride in order to make our product very high quality. So we do a lot of quality testing. We also use pure sugar uh, in a sweetener blend. So we have a blend of corn syrup and sugar. And I think that really provides a, a much cleaner, crisper, and more naturally sweet taste. So ALA does have a, a secret ingredient. We call it the, the secret recipe. Uh, I can't really tell you any details about it, um, other than the fact that I think my father and I are the only two people still alive that have personally made it. It's a, a very closely guarded secret. We have a, a room in the factory. We make it all ourselves. But it's a, it's a very potent, very flavorful ingredient. Blend it all together, and it, it makes ALA taste different from all other soft drinks. So the Ailey Company first started off uh, by a man ma named G.L. Wainscott. G.L. Wainscott first made Ailey just, I believe, in his own lab. Here in Winchester, Kentucky, they were located downtown before this facility existed. And he was really kind of a flavor genius. He knew kind of what he liked, what other people liked. He first got the ideas from traveling around northern Europe. He got a bunch of different samples, a lot of different flavors of a bunch of different ginger-based sodas. He tested those, experimented with them, tweaked them in a lot of different ways, and then ended up picking the A8 formula as the one he liked the most. The name A8 came from a Name the Product contest in 1926. It's kind of an interesting story. The founder had the A8 formula, the flavor, the product he wanted to make, but no name for it. So he had a product, uh, Name the Product contest at the county fair, and a young girl, I believe she was 14, there are conflicting reports of her age, suggested it be coined a late one, meaning the latest thing. That was punned down to ale number eight, number one. Um, so the first and foremost thing that we do here at A late is to make A late concentrate. A late concentrate is the, the flavoring, really the essence of what makes A late taste different from any other soft drink. An operator stands at the depalletizer, unloading glass cases onto the conveyor belt. The empty bottles reach the decaser where a machine separates the empty glass bottles from the case. Continuing on to the labeler, the system wraps, cuts, and glues a 360 degree label on each bottle. The glass bottles then travel through a winding bottle washer to neutralize any impurities picked up from shipping. After washing, the bottles enter into the filler room where the bottles pass through the filler and capper where the bottles are filled with AL8 mixer and then sealed. The filler has 71 output valves, filling 600 glass bottles per minute. The mixture is pumped through the valves from the carbo cooler, which chills the mixture to between 32 and 42 degrees Fahrenheit. This process increases carbonation control for maximum fill and minimum waste. The capper, which is located next to the filler, caps the filled bottles. The upper container is attached to a conveyor belt which runs across the ceiling. Transporting the bottle caps to the capper, which then crimps the caps onto the bottle. While the newly filled bottles are being brought back to the production line, the carbon erector opens the six-pack carrier in two rows, then places them back in the empty cases from which they came. Down the line, the caser lines up 24 bottles and places them in four six-packs, producing 9,000 cases a day. Continuing up the conveyor belt, the 24-bottle case reaches the palletizer. The palletizer places 40 returnable or 48 non-returnable cases onto a wooden pallet. The pallets are lowered to floor level to be shrink wrapped in clear plastic and picked up by forklifts to be taken into the warehouse for distribution. So we have a quality control lab. We do quite a bit of quality checks on the LA to make sure that the flavor is going to be consistent and uniform and that the product is going to have a, a long shelf life. Every 30 minutes, a bottle is taken off the assembly line and brought to the quality control lab to be examined. The process begins by checking the code date for audibility, then weighing the product, using the Carbo QC to measure the carbonation level of each bottle, then the degasser removes the carbonation from the product, taking a sample to check the bricks or sugar in the product, and finally testing the acidity levels before logging it. 
Um, I think the, the key that has made L8 strong in this area is customer service. We want to make sure that it tastes the same every single time you get a bottle. We want to make sure that the customers that we service, the, the retailers that sell it, always have a good supply of it on the shelf. And it's also brand image. I think people take a lot of pride in knowing it's a locally produced product you can get right here, made right here in Central Kentucky, and that you can drive you can drive down the interstate and see us right here on I-64. The governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, Paul E. Patton, proclaimed July 13, 2001 as AL-81 Day, ensuring evermore that AL-81 is the official drink of Kentucky. But the AL-8 company doesn't stop there. So AL-8's been in existence since 1926. Our first new product in the AL-8 line was in 2003 with the introduction of Diet AL-8. So with that, we've also expanded out into a couple of other uh, side brands, which are AL-8 Salsa. It's a Kentucky Proud product. It's made with Kentucky-grown tomatoes and peppers. And it actually contains AL-8 concentrate. So there's a sweet variety and a spicy variety, both of which have AL-8 concentrate. And the sweet variety actually contains AL-8. I eat it regularly. It's, it's not that hard to go through an entire jar of L8 salsa. Other than that, we also have uh, L8 suckers. Those are made by Ruth Hunt Candies right next door in Mount Sterling, Kentucky. So they take L8 concentrate, the true flavoring of L8, and they mix that up with their ingredients to make uh, authentic L8 suckers. L8 barbecue sauce is another product uh, we have now. L8 barbecue sauce is also made with L8 concentrate, uh, the true flavoring of L8. And it's really, really good. It's, you can put it on a whole lot of different types of foods, and it's, uh, it's got a little bit of an AL-8 bite to it. So right now, the core area of AL-8 is in central Kentucky. That's where we service with our own fleet, our own trucks. Uh, that's about a 50-mile radius from Winchester. It's a 25-county area. So you can find that uh, pretty much any gas convenience store, grocery stores, uh, even some restaurants. Uh, beyond that, we have a network of distributors that cover most of Ohio, or about the southern half of Ohio, most of Kentucky, and then some other pockets, Huntsville, Alabama, some places in the Carolinas, and hopefully soon in uh, parts of Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, we have a number of different sponsorship uh, programs we work with. Um, all of that can be located on our website at AL81.com, uh, but there are many, many different programs we work with. We're a big supporter of Kentucky Proud and uh, among other many, many local businesses. We have a gift shop. Uh, everything we sell in the gift shop, we can also get online. All the information for our plant tours, uh, for information on the product, can be found at our website, which is alate1.com. They have a bunch of frequently asked questions, plant tours, contact information, and, and the like. <laughs> Top on an L81. 